Hello again there, this is Josh, and um, for those of you who are on the Dwarven Forge forums, you may have uh, read one of my posts a while back where I was talking about the uh, Fairchild uh, Breathing LED. And this is it in action. I know it's been a little bit, but I've been doing other projects and just been busy with other things. And uh, But I was able to finally get around to hooking it up, and you can see it in action here. And what I like about this chip is that it's uh, all in one integrated onto the little board and really it's no fuss, no muss to get it uh, soldered and uh, hooked up whereas a lot of the other tutorials you might see on the Dorm Forge forum or any other forum to hook up something like this it would take a lot more an Arduino board, some programming, uh, some other components that you need and it's quite the setup. This uh, um, is pretty cheap. I'll show you the chips right now. Now I have them, there we go, we got some focus going. I have these chips all together and that's just because I got a better deal keeping them together like this. Um, I got an extra free chip and um, the, you can see on the boards here there's not only the Fairchild fi FAN5646 breathing LED flasher uh, integrated controller that's a mouthful but there's also the capacitor that goes along with it so you basically have on this little board everything you need to hook it up I'll show you the sheet so you can see how it gets hooked up all it takes is a little bit of soldering knowledge really and there you go it's a big picture I, I basically took of this chip the the sorry that I got off the website of the chip already uh, soldered onto an LED so really that's all it takes is a little bit of soldering knowledge and you can basically build your own and the nice thing about it if you can look on uh, the specs there is it only costs about four bucks conversion from Australian dollars to Canadian is about par it's about the same so it cost me basically four dollars a chip versus I think for the Blink M uh, programmable chip. These are programmable, by the way, but uh, you have to have the equipment to program on them. You can actually buy them directly from Fairchild and program them yourself if you did want to. But the nice thing again is um, that it's all integrated and done for you. And these cost about four bucks, um, so that's pretty reasonable, I'd say. I'm going to turn off the light and we will see this guy in action. And then you see a beautiful glow. I'm using a pink LED, 5mm. I'll show you that right now. Let's see if it'll go. Yeah, there we go. There it is. And I'm going to put on one of the red crystals. Now, these crystals. I've uh, purchased from my local gaming store, and they're Gale Force 9 Battlefield in a Box crystals. There's uh, three sets the red, um, the amethyst purple, which you saw just a moment ago, and, um, and then there's the green ones. I haven't gotten the green ones yet, but I am going to get them. And um, they're just, uh, they're awesome. Uh, but you'll notice that the purple ones, actually, I'll put the purple back on again. All I did was drill a hole in the bottom. Pretty straightforward. Nothing much there. And um, the purple ones you might have noticed uh, earlier, and you can't tell, it, tell in, in the dark as much, but they're fairly glossy. And if you have them at home yourself, um, really they're a lot glossier than the ones you have at home because I added about two coats of Liquitex high gloss varnish on them. I'm going to turn on the lights again. And here's the Liquitex that I used to varnish those crystals because I found them a little bit too matte. I like the red matte. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to uh, gloss those up yet. I might try one of the smaller ones just to see what it looks like. And if I like it, do it to the rest. But um, yeah, the, the red ones look nice uh, matte. They're a lot um, more opaque as well. They're not nearly as translucent. That's pretty much it. And um, we'll see you next time. And um, you have, have yourselves a good time modding.